In this video, I want to look at uh, attribute set and some of the ways we can troubleshoot issues in Katana with RenderMan. Um, what I've got here and what's what's made me make this extra video is uh, I've, I've rendered out my uh, my grub here, and you can see that the surface is quite faceted. It's not applying the subdivision correctly as it should be. And that's just because uh, Katana will default all poly objects to come in through an Alembic. As far as I know, um, they come through uh, just as a poly mesh. To get RenderMan to see that as a subdividable mesh and uh, actually do, do subdivision to it to smooth the surface, we need to convert the attribute type to sub D mesh. So that's a good use of the attribute set node. So you'll see that here. And we can connect that in. So what the attribute set node allows us to do is, is modify the attributes that end up on our objects. We can uh, specify any name uh, and type of attribute and change its value. So if there's no node for it, uh, we can use one of these and just specify which attribute we'd like to set as a parameter and then it will be on the object completely. So we haven't used attributes uh, too much so far in other videos, uh, but the, the attributes are representative of where this setting is at this point in the graph, wherever we are. You'll see if I view the attribute set node here and select my grub shape node, uh, I won't have any material assigned and that's obvious here. But if I view the node further down, you'll see that uh, we now, because of the material assign in between these two, we will now have this attribute on. So, and th these are the, the attributes down here, which will be s sent on to the renderer. So, setting the attribute set node, there's a bunch of ways we can do that. We can um, just type it in. So, if we go attribute type, and it's a string, this one, so string is just words. So if we uh, type sub D mesh into there, uh, you'll see nothing happens because we haven't applied the path location to it yet. So we need to middle mouse drag that over into here so it knows which node to apply it to. And you'll see there now that this is being recognized as a sub D mesh. So that's going to be required, that attribute, that specific attribute, that, that's um, required if we want to use displacement or subdivide the mesh. So you'll see here that uh, now I've set that and just uh, pause the video to render for a little bit. Uh, you'll see now it's surfaced properly, um, we're not getting the faceted information on it now and it's uh, rendering out uh, correctly based on our attribute set node. So we'll often just call this um, sub um, sub D meshes and you can add many paths to this if you like so that's a basic way to do attribute set the other feature that they have for attribute set is the dropping attributes which is quite handy if I create one and I pop it here select an object um, I'll just select the camera for now come to attributes find a attribute that will work and drop it up here. So I just drop middle mouse drag FOV up and it configures the correct setting. So it gets the attribute name, geometry.fov, it gets the data type and we can put the value in there. So it's just a, a quick way of drag dropping them when you need to do more than one or, or if you can't find the actual attribute name in the documentation or whatever it might be. So it's just a, a quick one on attribute set and how you should set up meshes that you need to be smoothed and whatnot to render correctly. Thank you.